So the second question in 2.4 is again working with rational expressions and working with the average. So this just kind of feeds right into what we just did on question one. So if you need to go back and look at question one again, you can. We're going to be dealing with average um, costs. We're going to be dealing with horizontal asymptotes because that gives us an idea of what our graph is approaching. And we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the example. Office copier has initial price of $2,800. The service contract costs $300 for the first year and then goes up $70 for every year after that. The total cost is given to you. So in this case, we're using C of N, and N just represents the number of office copiers we have or the number of years that we're dealing with. Um, let me double check and make sure I have my N right. Um, per year. Okay, so uh, per year is what the N represents. So what we're doing is A asks for find the rational function. So remember, a rational just means a fraction. That's all it is. Well, when we're dealing with average, we're just going to take the cost function and divide it by the number of years. Makes sense, right? If you have five years of um, salary, you want to know your average salary over the five years. You take the total and you divide it by the number of years. So it's the same thing. We're going to take the total cost and divide it by the number of years. So your average cost is the total and divided by n. Now, if it was x, we'd divide by x. If it was y, we would divide by y. So it's whatever we're um, working with. In this case, we're working with number of years. So we're dividing by the number of years. So that's all you need for A. Divide it by the number of uh, values. So whatever value you're, you're working with. B asks you to sketch the function. Okay. So again, with this one, we're still dealing with a rational expression. Okay. So we have, we have kind of an idea of what, what it looks like. But for B, you can use desmos.com. It's a very easy application. You can have it on your phone. Um, it's a great little app for your phone, and you can do, um, uh, it's a graphing calculator. Or you can use it on the computer, OK? All right, so Desmos works well. Again, if you don't have Desmos, just use a table of values. Just find the values. So in this case, um, my domain is between 2 and 20. So I'll write that up here. So my number of years is between 2 and 20. So I'm looking for my average cost between year 2 and year 20. Okay, So I'm just looking for over, over all of those 18 years, what's my average cost been? Okay, So I can use these values and any value in between. All right, So I have my uh, function. I have my table of values. I know what my n is in between. So I'm going to start at 2. And I've already done this. So you can, you can plug this into your calculator and just double check my numbers if you want. So when my number of years is 2, my cost was 1735. So again, all I did is I did 2800 plus 265 times 2 plus 35 times 2 squared, all divided by 2. That's how I got that value. Okay. Then I'm going to pick other random values between 2 and 20. So I picked 5. When I plug 5 into here, okay, mathematically, that's what I did. Plugged 5 in, it spit out 1,000. When I plugged in 10 into these same spots, it spit out 895. And when I plugged in 20, it spit out 1105. Okay, so those are my values. So I'm going to erase this and kind of plot my points so you can see how I did this. So again, I'm only working between 2 and 20. So that's the only area that I need to graph. So here's uh, 2, here's 20, here's 10, and 5. Okay, so at 2, my value was at 1735. 
at five, my value was at a thousand. At 10, my value was at 895. And at 20, my value was at 1105. So graphically, I'm just going to connect my dots so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Then you can look at your uh, examples and see which one looks like that. Okay. We can look for our horizontal asymptote. So remember the three rules. If they're equal, your horizontal asymptote is at the ratio of the leading coefficient. So in this case, if these were equal, it would be 35 over 1. They are not equal. The top is higher than the bottom, which means there is no horizontal asymptote. Okay? If the top was less than the bottom, the asymptote would be at y equals 0. Okay, so in this case, there is no horizontal asymptote. I don't have to worry about that. In your examples, you can see there is no horizontal asymptote. So what you have to do is you have to look at the graph that you've created, look at the examples that they give you, and eliminate ones that don't work. So see which one, see which one works. Just start eliminating them. Okay, so that's for B. Then if you want, go on to desmos.com and adjust your, remember to adjust your, your table values, your x's and your y's to fit. So the x's I would put between 2 and 20. Since I have 2800 as my constant, that will be at least the value I want to, I want to have it somewhere around that. So I would probably do between, you know, um, 2800 up to 4000 and then you can see, um, see the graph. Okay, so that's B, that's, that's being able to graph it. C is talking about, so here's the question. Um, when the average cost per year, when is the average cost per year at a minimum? In other words, what's the lowest point? That's what you're looking for. Remember, minimum just means the lowest point. Well, you can kind of guess where it is just by looking at your graph. So I, it looks like my lowest point is around 10. I don't know that for sure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep my 10. I'm going to pick values for x right around 10. Because I know this for sure is not my lowest point. This for sure is not my lowest point. My lowest point is somewhere in that area. So I'm just going to do just some, some values. I'm going to pick values around my lowest point and see if I can come up with my lowest number. So plug in 8 into here. And where did my paper go? I've already done this. Um, 8, I get 895. So did you notice 8 and 10 is the same? So if this is 8, right? 8 and 10 is about the same. So I'm going to try 9. So 9 ended up being 891.11. That's my lowest value. So they're not going to make you do 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. 8 they're just having you do whole numbers. So once you look at your graph and you see where the low area, the lowest area is, pick values around that and see if you can find the lowest value. So 9 is going to be my, my absolute lowest value. Okay? And then um, graph the average cost function on a graphing calculator. So you've already done that. You already have Desmos. And use an appro appropriate command to find when the average annual cost is at a minimum. So all that means is you're looking for the lowest value. They're not asking you to actually do it. They are seeing if you can figure out how to get the lowest command. Um, the, the command that you would use is minimum. So you want to find the minimum. Um, and you can find that in your, in your um, the graphing calculator. Um, I believe it's under the math um, button on the TI-84. Um, and then you're just going to answer the question. Um, the average annual cost is minimum in approximately nine years. That's what that means. The average, I'm sorry, the lowest cost happened at around nine years. Okay, so if you look at your graph, it's going to happen around nine years. So you can kind of guesstimate it from your graph, and then you're going to plug the value in and get an actual value. That is the second question on 2.4.